tab breakage has always been a problem in machining. To overcome that, one of my senior friend has done a lot of research. In today's video, we are going to discuss his findings to overcome the problem of tap breakage and related issues. The person in this picture is Mr. Padeep Kare, who has spent decades of experiments to find the reasons for tap breakage. And his findings are really interesting and we are going to discuss that. So this is one of uh, the sample part and the tap. So this is a closer view of this profile and the distance between two tooth is called pitch. When we talk about thread, let us understand how a metric thread is designated and how it is done for inch. This is a metric thread example. M20 by 1.5 pitch metric. This is the size. M20 mean 20 is the nominal size for the thread. It can be a standard thread or Indian thread. And this is the pitch. Same way if you look at an inch thread. 5, 8, 10 step back me. So this is the size of the thread. And this is called TPI. 10. This 10 stands for TPA and step acme is for the type of thread. So you can see the one which you are seeing in the picture is a acme thread. So it is a trapezoidal shape. Now when you have this TPI that is threads per inch. How to calculate the pitch? So 10 TPI mean 10 threads per inch. That means in one inch you have 10 threads. So how to calculate the pitch? Pitch is one thread. So you can see one full thread is pitch or it is the distance between the crust or root. So you know that one inch equal to 25.4 mm. Now if you divide it by the TPI or number of threads, you will get what is the pitch. So in this case the pitch is 2.54 mm. Now we will see how the feed rate for tapping is calculated. There is a very important relation between feed rate for tapping, RPM of spindle and pitch of the tap or thread. Feed is calculated by multiplying RPM and pitch. What is pitch? Pitch is the amount by which the tap advances when it is rotated one turn. An RPM is the rotation per minute. So when you multiply both the things, you get what should be the feed rate. If this is different, then definitely you will not get the right, right tap, right thread. Now let us see what would be the total tool travel. There you can calculate by the tap endpoint and difference between tap endpoint and tap start point. 
let us see by an example. The tap stat at Z5 and it goes up to a depth of Z minus 50. So the tool travel is minus 50 minus 5 equal to minus 55. That means it is the absolute value sum of the depth and the clearance. 50 mm depth and 5 mm clearance. 55 mm. Now if we take the example of 58-10 stab acme which we have already calculated it is 2.54 mm and now for 55 mm tool travel we will calculate what will be the number of turns it would be 55 divided by 2.54 that means we are trying to find in 55 mm how many 2.54 are contained so it is 21.65 so that means the tap has to rotate or turn 21.65 times turns or rotation now as per mr curry the encoder do not understand this decimal point it either understand 21 or it understand 22 Now we need to modify the tool travel so that it becomes a whole number. So how to do this calculation? We can round up this 21.65 which we got by calculating. So rounding up of 21.65 is nothing but 22 and if we multiply 22 by pitch, that means 22 multiplied by 2.54, we get 55.88. So the modified start Z for tap would be 5.88 instead of 5. So here when we calculated it was 55. And with 55, we calculated the number of turns, which was not a whole number. So we wanted to convert this into whole number. So now if you divide 55.88 by 2.54, you will get 22. That means 22 complete turns. So that encoder will not have any difficulty in making the complete turn and the result would be a, a good uh, thread. Now we we'll look at the program sample. So the spindle command is M03S70. The start position is G0 Z5.88. And the tapping command is G84 Z-50 R5.88 F177.8. Z minus 50 is the tapping depth. R 5.88 is the R point. That means if even if this is Z8, the tap can come fast up to this and then start the tapping. So this is for final. Now if you are using any other controller, the format would be different. But the concept is same. You need to use the tapping cycle and the tapping depth whatever is there you need to specify and the tapping should start at this value so in this case 5.88 and the feed rate is 177.8 then the tapping cycle is cancelled by G80 and it is retracted to G0 Z50 <coughs> now the advantages of uh, uh, doing all this calculation is good surface finish and no tap breakage and it will eventually in improve the tool life also i hope this information will help you improve the tap life as well as the 
thread quality. 